and what they will ignore. Yeah, that must drive me nuts. Yeah. The long form census is an example of this. We thought we could get rid of it without the media noticing. Turned out they noticed. That took us by surprise. The long form what? <laughs> Never mind. I'm trying to make a point. Go ahead. Can we just get a coffee? Absolutely. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Now, uh, in looking ahead in the long term, there are certain acts I want to undertake certain projects I think might raise the ire of the press. And so I want to do what I can to minimize that. Okay. Oh, hang on. Hey, sweetie, how are you? I had to sneak out before you got up because I have a meeting with an old crazy person. He's right here, do you want to say hi? It's my son, he wants to say hello. Okay. Uh, hi, is this... A Yes, I'm sorry your mother had to come in so early. I. No. No, I don't. Would you like to ask your mother? Okay. Bye. He wants to know how to make a latke. You want to make a latke for breakfast? Are you crazy? Have some cereal like a normal person. What do you mean there's no cereal? Oh, right. Okay. Okay, you get the potato and get the grater. You gotta grate the potato, squeeze out all the water and then grate a little bit of onion in there too. I don't know, a bit. Peel the onion first. Okay, you know where the breadcrumbs are? Grab a handful of breadcrumbs and mix it all together. Yeah, then get the oil, put it in the pan, get it nice and hot, and then carefully put the lackey in the oil. You flip it when the edge is brown. That's it, you got it? Okay, don't make a mess. Call me back before you get to school. Because it's a new school, I want to make sure you get know you remember how to get there. Okay, I love you too. Bye. How old is your son? Uh, Jake is seven. What did he say to you? Is he alone? He better be. <laughs> he loves to cook. Uh, anyways, where were we? How's your coffee? Can I get you another? No. So the strategy is, I want to distract the press from what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? For starters, I'm going to cut the PCO. This is crazy. For starters, I'm going to cut, cut the PCO, the Privy Council office. Under the Liberals, the number of people employed there ballooned. I'm going to shrink it back again. Shrink it by how much? Nearly a third. Hmm. Uh, which is why I need your help. Is that correct? I think I may have jumped you. Mm, sorry, I was trying. I want to distract the press from the thing I'm going to do. What are you going to do? For starters, I'm going to cut the PCO, the Privy Council office. Under the Liberals, the number of people employed there balloon. I'm going to shrink it back again. Why? Because it doesn't need to be that large. And because a number of people there were appointed by the Liberals and remain loyal to the Liberals. It's so petty. The PCO loved us when we first came into office. They did? Oh, yeah. Back in 2006, when we were elected with a minority government, we had a very narrow agenda focused on five basic things, remember? No. You don't remember that we came into office focused on five little things? No. Do you remember the GST went down? The GST went down? 
I mean, really? I was fucking busy in 2006. The GST went down? Never mind. The point is, the PCO loved us when we came in because they could uh, focus and plan and get things done. But now I'm going to cut them, and they're not going to like that. That's why I need your help. Okay. So, in a couple of weeks, you're going to rise in Parliament and introduce a private member's bill. Okay. Oh, you guys dropped again, sorry. Um, now I'm going to trim them, and they're not going to like it. Trim them by how much? Nearly a third, and I need your help with that. And then... Oh, and then right off. Yeah. Um, the point is, the PCO loved us when we first came in because we had a very narrow agenda and they could uh, plan and get things done. But now I'm going to trim them and they're not going to like that. Trim them by how much? Nearly a third, which is where I need your help. Right up. You need me to go in there and fire some people? No. What? I've never fired anyone before. Well, there was this one time at the, when I was manager at the restaurant, I had to fire the dishwasher, but really all that meant was like he wasn't showing up for his shifts. So left. I called him and I called him and I got his machine. Ms. And left. so I left him. I and don't and care. I'm talking. I care. So I called him up. I got his machine. So I fired him over his machine. I'm not sure if I can. I don't want you to fire anybody. I want you to distract the press. Okay. 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 Oh, no, I'm sorry. I, I did wrong. Sorry, 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 sorry. Can you give it to me again? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if that counts. Sorry, one thing I have done the coffee. <laughs> and why are we, where are we lost? Um, you're... If that counts, what do I say? We're good. Um... I don't know if that counts. I don't want you to fire people. I want you to, to distract the press. Okay. So in a couple of weeks' time, you're going to stand up in Parliament and introduce the private member's bill. Okay. Yeah. I don't want you to fire anybody. I want you to distract the press. Okay. So in a couple of weeks' time, you're going to rise in Parliament and introduce a private member's bill. Okay. Do you want to know what's in the bill? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, coffee. sorry. Ah, uh, get that coffee again. That's right. Okay, that coffee you've got smells like ass, and yet I still want. Some. Can I just have a sip? Yes, please. Here, fine. Have the coffee. God. You're the fucking prime minister of Canada, and this is the shit you drink in the morning. It's decaf. <laughs> you sick motherfucker. You're going to introduce a bill limiting abortions. Okay. <laughs> okay. An anti-abortion bill, I'm sorry. A pro-life bill. Yes, Carrie will draft it for you. I'll pretend to be caught off guard. I'll say you're acting on your own and that I strongly disapprove. The press will gleefully follow your rebellion for a few days. I'll trim the PCO and they'll miss the story. And what happens to the bill? If it ever gets to a vote, it'll be defeated. You'll have a reputation as a maverick. You'll be the thorn in my side, Ms. Lith. Anytime we need to do something difficult, we'll make sure you do something stupid at the same time, okay? You know I've had an abortion, right? You've had two. Yes. That will come out at some point. We'll leak it if we have to. Okay. Okay? Okay. There will be a period of intense scrutiny for a while. Sure. Just be yourself. Tell people what you feel. As long as it's anti-abortion, right? Pro-life, yes. Can I say it bugs the shit out of me when people say pro-life when what they mean is anti-abortion? Sure. <laughs> you don't have any problem with this? I mean, morally? No. I see, but I assume you're pro-abortion. Pro-choice, you mean. And who says I believe in anything? Ah. Oh. But... What? No. That's too bad. What is? Well, I assumed you were going to object to the plan. I... Yes? No, nothing. I had just assembled several compelling arguments, is all. Really? Yes. You were going to change my mind on abortion using some arguments. Yes. Look, nothing. Okay, forget it. No, no, please. I would like to hear those amazing arguments because they sound like they would be amazing. Well, now I don't have to use them. So sorry. <laughs> Fuck, I was too easy. <laughs> but what if they hadn't worked? Oh, they would have worked. I'm sure. 
But what if they hadn't? Well then, in that case, I was going to flirt with you. You were going to try arguments and then flirting? I was, in a sense, yes, going to flirt with you. I sense you're a person who responds to flirtatious behavior. That's your sense? That's my read, yes. <laughs> Am I wrong? No. In fact, next time, skip the arguments and go straight to the flirting because <laughs> I'm dying to see that shit. <laughs> so this is troubling. You have no beliefs at all? I wouldn't say that. I have beliefs. Can you tell me what they are? Not at 6 fucking 30 in the morning without a coffee, I can't. <laughs> Here you go. Fuck, where'd you come from? <laughs> I was listening. Black, two sugars, right? You were listening? Well, I felt that understanding you, who you are, would be useful to this project we're starting here. I think the thorn on the side idea is a good one, and you seem the person for the job. So I just wanted to get a sense of who you are, Gisbella. <laughs> It's funny. Don't let Carrie fool you. He was hoping to hear something he could use against you. Really? Yes. Is that true? Yes. I generally find that when people start by talking about their beliefs, they wind up saying some very personal things, which can then be used against them if need be. Are you going to tell him to fuck off? Why? Hmm. Okay, it's fun around here. You want some beliefs? If you've got them. Yes, please. I believe education makes half the people in it feel stupid. I believe you should have to get a license to be a parent the same way you need one to drive a car. I believe your first impression of a person is always wrong. I believe everyone is a snob about something. And the worst snobs are the snobs that say they aren't a snob about anything. Should you be writing this down? I'm good. Mm -hmm. I believe that no one respects single mothers, including single mothers. I believe religion is weird, fucked up, and stupid because it's made by people who are weird, fucked up, and stupid. Sorry. No, no. What else? I believe the government is a good place for a government job, and that's basically all it's got going for it. Uh, I believe that all men hate, or most men hate women, but that's okay because most men hate men and most women hate themselves. Really? Really. <laughs> what else? Dogs are awesome. <laughs> Cats are stupid. Dog people are awesome. Cat people are stupid. <laughs> um, I believe that men only help women for one reason, and that reason rhymes with pussy. Oh, and... I believe the pension I'm going to get for as an MP is stupid. Well, you can always kick it back if you think you don't deserve it. Oh, I'll keep it. You're dumb enough to give it to me. <clears throat> and if I last here for six years, the pension I'll get for the rest of my life is more than I made being the manager at St. Hubert's. It's disgusting. I worked fucking hard at that job, the best job I could get. Now I'm here running, I don't know, some sort of abortion scam, and I'm going to get free money for the rest of my life. It's Fucked up and I'll totally take it. Morally casual. She's a Jenny. Mostly a Jenny, though there's a strong Dougie streak in her. The anger. Yes. Total Dougie. Maybe even a bit of Clive. No, not Clive. No sense of superiority. No, I just meant the anger is nearly Clivean in its certainty. True, but the essentially unexamined entitlement precludes any Clive. We, um... Divided the population up into general recognizable types a few elections ago and gave them names. That way we could decide who to focus on for their support and who to ignore because they never support us. And you straddle two of those groups. One part that would never support us, the Jenny part, because you mistrust men and have vague, unexamined progressive politics. But you also have a working class love of fairness and a desire for moral simplicity. As long as that moral simplicity isn't applied to you, just the world around you. That's the dummy part. This is how you spend your time? This is how we got this far. We got very good at marketing to people who weren't being marketed to. Convincing people, you believe what they believe. Most people don't have beliefs. They have feelings. Vague ideas that flow from those feelings, but they don't really have beliefs. That list you gave us? Yeah. Not really feel it. Not really beliefs. Fuck you. You can tell because it's all negatively expressed. This is stupid, this is wrong, this is a shitty thing I hate. When we realized that's how people respond when you actually listen to them, we became masters at channeling those feelings. 
You're saying I don't believe the things I believe that nobody does? We're saying that beliefs are such an academic exercise. Most people don't bother with them. But you know, now that she's here, I wonder if she should... I was going to suggest the same thing. Mm -hmm. Fuck. What? I've got the egg. Hi, sweetie. I forgot to tell you to mix in an egg. How's the lackey? Mm -hmm. oh, I know, pretty shitty without the egg. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. It's my fault. Don't cry. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't... Yo, what's up? Is that Jake? Hey, Jake. I know, I know, it's not a lackey. But you know what, Jake? That's some mother freaking hash browns you got there. That's right, hash browns. Jake, you go into any men's diner or truck stop across this country and you know what they give you with your eggs? Hash browns, that's right, Jake. And I wish I was there to eat them with you. Because I can smell them through the mother freaking phone. That's how good those hash browns smell, Jake. Now, you get rid of that stupid applesauce, you get yourself some ketchup, and you enjoy those hash browns, okay? Okay, bye. Sweetie, ketchup's in the. Oh, you know where the mother freaking ketchup is, do you? Okay, okay. Enjoy the life. See you soon. Nice, thanks. No problem. Now, I want you to do something for me. Okay. You're a politician now. Figure out what your beliefs are, just as an exercise. Try to express them as positives and make them above the country, or at least society. Okay. I'm doing this why? Oh, you know, just for the fun of it. Fun. Right. You're unique. A rare hybrid. It'll be useful. But also, I'm turning you into one of us. A member of the political class. <laughs> that was fucking fun! Did you feel all the air go out of the House of Commons when he introduced the bill? You didn't tell me that was going to be so much fun. When the word abortion came out of your mouth, it was like... It was like you could hear every anus in the room just slamming shut. <laughs> I liked the way you looked up and smiled when the hush fell on the house. That'll be on every channel tonight. Fucking awesome. You are. I looked over the talking points you gave me. Am I really supposed to say I'm doing this because my constituents want it? Yes. Do they? We did some polling. There are some in your writing that want this. How many is some? The number's not important. The point is, when you call people up and tell them that this is the only country with no regulation whatsoever on abortion, people will say they want a law of some kind. I guess you can always get the poll results you're looking for. That's just being professional. But the cool thing is this. If you can keep them on the phone for more than 30 seconds, their brain is yours for the taking. Really? It's how we became the best fundraisers on the planet. We revolutionized the process. We don't count on corporate donations. All our money comes in 20s and 50s. Do you know how we do that? You just get people on the phone, get them talking. Just shut up and let them go. All the other parties, when they do their fundraising, there's a script the caller has to get through. This is what we did, this is what we're gonna do, how much can you give? When our people call, they ask just one question and shut up. It's awesome to watch. What's the question? Some variation on, tell me, just how pissed off are you? You ask people to complain. We ask them to give us their feelings. Politics is fundamentally an emotional event. The reason you're so valuable to us is because you have direct access to your emotions. People hear you speak, they know you're actually feeling something. That's why there's no stats in your talking points. They're just pure emotion. People feel having no regulation I'm sorry, what's the line? Some law. Yeah. Some law is better than no law when people's lives are at stake. Reopening the debate is the honest thing to do. Canadians feel having no regulation on this issue is crazy. And I have a moral obligation to listen to the nut bars back home begging me to do this. Yes. Super. It'll be over in a bit. You'll eventually withdraw the bill. 
then he'll give you some committee to run or make you someone's parliamentary secretary. This is a huge opportunity. Way to go. Okay, now I have some journalists waiting in the hall. You ready? Mm -hmm. God damn it, Ms. Lith! Private members' bills are supposed to pass through the, this office before they rise in the house and make a spectacle to yourself. I don't give a shit. My considerate's fearless is too important. You don't seem to understand how things are done around here. I don't give a shit how things are done around here. I'm doing the moral thing. There are protocols, all right? Now, I know you want to make uh, a name for yourself, but, you know... I, I... I... What I understand is that you're a fucking pussy. Well, fuck you. I'm doing this for the people that elected me, you wishy-washy, non-uterus, having cut with a hairpiece. <laughs> and you, ass folks, what's your problem? She has to get 48 hours notice to the speaker. Why didn't anybody figure out she was going to do this? Huh? I don't know. Huh? I don't you know. You don't know. You don't know. That's just great. <laughs> you make me sick. You know, I knew from the first moment I hired you, you were going to fuck me somehow. I know, I know. Yeah, you know, you know. Get out of my office. Okay, okay. Okay, no, stay here. <laughs> So I can yell at you some more. <laughs> okay. So, I'll go home deny we fought, and then it's a two-day story, and then you admit we did fight, and so on and so forth. So, how did it feel to rise in Parliament and introduce an honest-to-God bill? I finally understand why you guys think what goes on down there is important. It actually feels important. <laughs> you did great. You ready to talk to the press about it? Carrie's been prepping me. Good. But, um, you know, don't get tied up in the talking points. Just... Get out there and let loose. <laughs> what if I say something wrong? Yeah, nothing you say harms us. You have a very appealing guilelessness. You mean I'm stupid? I mean, you're appealingly stupid. <sighs> I still don't understand why you didn't just use somebody who actually believes in an abortion bill. Oh, because those guys and their beliefs are exhausting. But you and I still haven't had our conversation about what your beliefs are. Right. Maybe we should save this and get her in front of the press? No, let them wait. So, you have some beliefs for me? I did better than that. Oh, cool. I figured out why they're wasting time. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, tell me, what is, how do you feel about tra no, pro proportional representation? A terrible idea. You used to love it. How, what about something about privacy? Information, access to information.